Good to be with you again. As we come to the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time, during this very special month of the Rosary, as well as Respect Life Month uh, for the whole Catholic Church in the United States, we have readings that are so beautiful, and they, in, they, they ask us to look at an aspect of God's relationship to us and our relationship to God in terms of an invitation. The gospel sounds this very beautiful theme when Jesus talks about a parable that the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast. And that very, you might say, idea of a grand invitation going out to people to come to something is very important. Recently, I had a wedding of a, of a dear friend's uh, son. Literally, it's hard to believe that I married this young man's mom and dad, and I've uh, baptized all uh, of his kids, and I also married many of, the, of his siblings. So it was a really wonderful celebration. And I was wonder, very happy to be invited to be the celebrant uh, of this service. Uh, and I also was quite uh, taken with the invitations to go to other things connected to the wedding. It was a little heartbreaking for me that the invitation to the rehearsal dinner and to the actual celebration, I had to decline. Uh, I have to be honest with you, I tried to maintain uh, some limitation on how much exposure I allow myself to undergo for the sake of my duties as a priest. I try to limit the exposure to having church services or going to, somebody's, uh, going to somebody to bless them or to um, hear their confession. I don't want to overexpose myself. So I had to decline some of the invitations that I was receiving. But the preciousness of an invitation, it says so much. When somebody invites you to something, especially in this case, my dear friend from high school, it was a very special feeling I had that they wanted me to be part of this event, this feast, this celebration, uh, to be with them. And when I said that I couldn't really make it uh, to the rehearsal dinner, uh, I could tell my friend was disappointed, but he wasn't angry. He understood my reasons I had to, I had to give him uh, for that uh, de declining of the, the invitation. And yet, uh, I understood the preciousness of that invitation. And I think that's what's so important about our relationship to God, that God is unbelievable in his invitation to us as human beings to join him, to be part of him, and especially the Eucharistic meal that we as Catholics, uh, as Christians, so treasure, is not something forced on us. It is something that we are invited to participate in. Uh, remember those beautiful words right before I distribute Holy Communion to you. I say, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of of the Lamb. Blessed are they who called to the Supper of the Lamb. You could even substitute the word invited, and actually I think there was much discussion when that was translated, because as you know, these words are translated from Latin. Uh, they could have used the word invited as well as called. Uh, there, there's an equivalency here. Called to be at something, just like the, the, the king that has a wedding feast and who wants to uh, summon and call his invited guests. Uh, to come and enjoy the feast. The prophet Isaiah also describes a great feast that God is setting out for his people. Uh, and it's a very beautiful feast. First of all, it's a feast, it says, of rich foods and choice wines, of juicy, rich food and pure choice wines. I have to tell you that to decline the invitation to the rehearsal dinner was a little, really hard for me because it's at a great restaurant that I just enjoy, uh, enjoy the food for. But also, God invites us to discover a way of dealing with death. He said, on this mountain, 
He will destroy the veil that veils all peoples, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from every face. Our invitation to join in God's kingdom, in God's life, is an unbelievable invitation to life and love. And so sadly, like the gospel relates today, people make up in all kinds of excuses of not to accept it, to turn their back on it, to run away from it. They have better things to do, they, they think, than to accept that invitation. You and I know that invitations are precious. They're wonderful expressions of the freedom of the one who is inviting you, and your response is a wonderful uh, use of your freedom in responding to them and responding to the person who's inviting and in this case God's invitation that we accept it so accept the invitation of God accept his invitation to be part of your life accept the invitation to come to the to the supper of the Lord when you hear those words come you are called to the supper of the Lamb. You're invited to come, come. Lord, I'm not worthy, but I'm coming because you have invited me.